Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. We are working on this electric train over here, and unfortunately the entire truck frame has to be replaced. Uh, which means we are taking apart pretty much everything that's blocking, um, you know, uh, taking the truck frame off. And considering it is the frame... <laughs> It doesn't mean that everything needs to come off, which I'm not opposed to. It's cool. It's a major, major rebuild here that we're doing. So look at this. I have to take everything off. Everything must go. Also, we've improved our uh, screw gun a little bit. So taking the screws in and out is a lot faster now, which is nice. Oh man, the electric motor has to come off as well. On. Look at this thing. Wait, I can take this off without taking the brake piston off? Really? I'm pretty sure it'll want the brake piston off. <clears throat> or maybe this is a bit of a, a bit of a problem here. I mean, a bit of a bug. I don't know. Either way, for some reason, my nose itches really, really badly. I don't know why it's full of allergies or something. <clears throat> Take these giant screws out. There we go. It comes out. Right. Oh yeah. Of course we'll have to take that off. I would like to see a pile in the corner where we just, you know, put all the stuff we've taken off into a big organized pile. It probably wouldn't be a pile then, but Wow. So why don't we have to take this hydraulic piston off? It's a bit strange. Alright, anyway. Steel and rubber springs. There we go. Take that off. Hydraulic shock absorber. <clears throat> wow, it's a hydraulic shock absorber. Okay. Alright, so still lots of stuff needs to come off. <laughs> That comes off as well. I wonder what this is. It seems like it's etched into the uh, into the frame. It's probably some kind of a either a logo of the company that made it or some kind of a I don't know. Or maybe it's just a scratch and I'm you know looking too much into it. It almost seems like it's just uh, light coming in f through a hole somewhere. And it's just, that's just how the shadows are. I don't know. Either way, that is a lot of screws we have to take off. Well, I'm guessing this is something a little bit akin to a full engine rebuild in Car Mechanic Simulator. Which, again, as I said, I'm not opposed to, because this is fun. It's just taking everything apart. Right, so we need to take that off, the brake caliper. The brake caliper arm and, of course, the piston first. I'm actually surprised we can take the piston off first before we take the uh, this thing off. The damper of axle box. Hey, damper of axle box. How are you today? I'm fine, although a little bit sick, apparently. So these come out. And, of course, the springs. Come on. There you go. Right. Brake caliper arm. You know, I'm really hoping they know what they're doing when they're trusting me uh, with this big job, because, um... <clears throat> will I be able to put the train back together? <laughs> this is a huge process. I do wonder if, um... If I'll get more money for this. I kind of doubt. Look at this. Let me just double check. Yeah, I do have to take all of this apart. Look at that coil! Did you see that coil? Oh, there comes the axle. Power supply cable. <laughs> that was a huge power supply cable. I really like the graphics. I know I've said in the first part that, you know, graphics aren't the most amazing I've seen, which I guess it's kind of true, but... I mean, for a game like this, they're brilliant. Um, they're polished. They're nice. 
They added a little bit of glow, you know? Maybe unnecessarily, but I like glowing games. I can't help it. Um, I really enjoy it. A bloom, actually. It's a bloom. There we go. There's the... Uh, all that stuff. Right, we're coming close to taking this thing apart. And when we do, we can just say, off you go, it's fine, you can, you know, you can just do with one truck in the back. <laughs> there we go. Is it really just four motors on the entire electric train? I almost don't believe that. That's crazy. How much power do these things have? Right. Take that off. I wonder, are there any train conductors here or train engineers watching this? That would be really cool. Let me know if you are one. I know people have said that they're aunts and, or husbands of aunts and stuff are train people, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we need to take that off as well. The brake piston. Yeah, look, we need to take all of this off. The damper. And this huge thing, axle box. I'll learn the names. Sort of. Maybe. There. Now I need to take that off. That off, and that brake over there as well, I think. Yep. And the motor electric line. And that's it! Look at it! Yeah, I think they, uh, I think they made an error here. This should have come off as well, but they, uh, they didn't do that. So, <laughs> look at that. It's just one tiny part. Oh, 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 bloody hell. Minus 350,000 <laughs> because we've taken off that stuff. That is crazy. All right, let's try repair. Oh. I shudder to think of how much the truck frame is, and if I can repair it. Right, where is it? 11,000, and I can repair it! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm guessing the truck frame is like 15,000 or something? Is that it? Is that really it? 20,000. Pantograph frame, there we go. Interesting. <clears throat> Only 20,000. I would have guessed more. Considering it's such a huge thing. Uh, you know, in a way, I'm s Oh. Didn't know I could go up here. I would have loved that you would have to actually... Um, raise, the cr uh, raise the entire train to work on this. But I guess for the frame... Well, no, for the frame you would have to lift it. Okay, anyway. Let's put stuff back together. No, no, no. The truck frame. There he goes, all nice and shiny. Look at that stuff. How awesome is that? Answer? Very. Right, let's put that back on. Uh, there's so many things I have to put on, it's crazy. Wheel axle, that can come on. There we go. Axle box. Whoa, what's going on with the uh, depth of field? Uh, there's truck frame. There's so many things. <laughs> well, let's go over here. This side, please. There's the wheel axle, and then we can put the big axle box back on. There's a damper on the other side as well. I have to do it. I mean, over there. Uh, where's the damper? Oh, no, there's no damper there. Okay. So, hydraulic brake piston that's already on. There's the hydraulic shock absorber. That's attached to the steel and rubber springs. It's really interesting how this um, suspension is created here. There we go. Hydraulic brake piston. Yeah, I think the wait for this game was worth it. I was really excited, really hyped about it. But kind of worried at the same time, as I said. I was uh, I was worried they were overextending themselves, but man. 
They did an excellent job. Now there's the axle box. Off it goes. The only thing it, you know, the only part where it kind of really um, suffers a little bit is in the English translation, but it's fine. I'm not here to read English novels. I'm here to play with trains and, you know, put them, put them back together and pull them apart and so on. So that's that here. Let's put the other side on and then see what's missing. Hmm. Yeah, my throat does not feel good. It definitely feels like I'm getting a cold. That's very annoying. How? Where? Or maybe it's just a little bit tired. I don't know. Yeah, don't get any funny ideas. Just tired from talking. Or from babbling, really. Alright, where's the brake thing? There it is. Brake caliper. I can't believe it's only one screw over there. There's a shock absorber. <clears throat> and then we put in the coil and rubber springs. Or steel and rubber springs. There it goes. Perfect. Some more of these. And the big axle box. With the huge, huge screws that never ceases to amaze me. Yep. Let's move the camera here so we, we get a better view of what's going on. Yeah, man, this, uh, this thing is coming back together. Look at it. Brilliant. There's the damper of axle box. So now we have some very interesting games going on on my channel. There's the... Uh, you know, sort of niche games. 9 uh, I mean, Car Mechanic Simulator uh, Simulator 2015, uh, Train Mechanic Simulator 2017, and 911 Operator. All sort of niche games, you you know. But they're very well done, I have to say. Ooh, that piston doesn't look too great, but I think it's fine. It's a little rusty. Let me let me double check. No, it's 90 percent. That's fine. Alright, let's put the motor power supply cable. That's a huge cable. And there goes the coil, which is just ginormous. Oh my... Oh my flying spaghetti monster, that's crazy. Alright, there's the cover. Rotor shaft. Drive gear. This thing's huge. There's also the mounting brackets thing, we mustn't forget. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, the, um, the work on these electric trains must include a lot less, you know, oil and such. I mean, <clears throat> things still have to be lubricated, the mechanical parts, but not, <clears throat> not the electric motors, really. That's one of the nice things about electric cars in the future. Um, they will require very little service, apart from, <laughs> you know, the obvious stuff like brakes and such. There will always be service needed, but um, electric motors are fairly service-free. Although they too can burn out and wear out over time. There we go. So, there's... On the other side, we still need to put together the electric motor. There's the housing and the coil. <laughs> that is a lot of copper in there. I do wonder how much the in-game price for that is. Because, you know, there's copper in pretty much everywhere uh, around you. You know, in the wires you use, the electric wires and stuff. Um, electronics and all of that. But... The, the most interesting thing is, copper isn't really that cheap. You know, in large amounts... I mean, everything is a bit expensive in large amounts, but... Yeah, the copper isn't really that cheap, and it's not so abundant. Um, which is weird that we're just, you know, throwing it away like it's candy. Actually, do we throw away candy? I don't know, we, mo we eat candy, more like. I don't know. There you go. Wow, this was a big rebuild. They better, um, they better give us a lot of money for this. Because otherwise, I'm going to be angry. 
I'm gonna be a bit angry. We got one more thing missing. Oh yeah, on the other side. The hydraulic brake hose and the piston over there. There we go. Come on. Move the camera. There, and the hydraulic brake hose, and we're done, I think. Oh no, we're not done. <laughs> Two more brackets here. Mounting brackets. I do have to say, it's quite busy here. Um, I mean, there's a lot of parts close together, you know. It's, uh, it must be quite interesting actually working on these trains in real life. There we go. Also fairly dangerous because of the high voltage is involved. There we go. And that's done. Yeah. Is that all we're getting? Oh, that's fine. Fine, be that way. Bonus for low cost, <clears throat> 1,000. Yeah, we didn't get much, despite the fact that it was a rather extensive, large job, that. Let's uh, improve our workshop a little bit. No, can't really do anything here. I don't want to improve the screw gun yet, because I'd rather be able to repair the things. A damaged train has a problem leaving a, uh, the station near the depot. Help it get to the workshop and make the necessary repairs. All right, it's easily done. Let's go and do so. Oh, we can't exit here. Well, that's just rude. Yes, leave the garage. Man, the game runs so much better than Car Mechanic Simulator. A simulator 2015. I can't speak. Apparently. Tow the damaged train. Wait. Okay, I have to look at it near your repair station. Uh, what is there? Well, this, that's where I have to tow it, right? It doesn't tell us where the train is, just that it's near our repair station. Um... I'm confused. Where is it? Are we already towing it? No. Uh, it's not there. Ugh. Oh, it's there. Okay. Yeah, figures. Well, keep going. There's not really much momentum with this train. It's not right, like a full simulation, I guess. All right, now let's go in reverse very slowly so we get this option. There we go. Now we can keep. Now we can press the throttle. Is there a guy in there? No, there isn't. There's the train. Yeah, that would have been a disaster. <laughs> All right, so we have to go back in reverse and that way to the electric engine depot. All right, that way we go. I like the horn. <laughs> I do enjoy it. Very much so. There we go. Go to repair. Alrighty. Well, I wonder what's going to be wrong with this one. But we're going to find out soon enough. Tell the oh yeah. It appears that the pantographs are damaged. Check what parts are damaged and make the necessary re repairs. Well, that's cool. We haven't done anything with the pantographs yet. So that's going to be cool. Yeah, I can already see the rust there. Well, thank you very much for watching again. Uh, let me know how you're enjoying this. Check out my Patreon. And I will see you in the next part. Have a good one. Bye-bye.